Hello, I am Mia Moore here at Uniquely Divine LLC, and I have already grounded my energy, so each of my cards in my space to be able to give you guys the best energetic messages. I do not own the rights to the music in the background that is Pandora playing. Dear Divine Creative Source of Everything, I thank you for the opportunity to connect with you through these cards. I call upon Archangel Michael, the Divine Spirit of Life, and my ancestors for protection as I go through the tarot to give you guys clear, honest, and accurate messages. This is going to be whatever comes out. So, let's get started. Somebody knows what you like. Somebody knows what you want. Sorry about the um, background noise. Somebody want to take you home or want to come over to your house. Somebody is in despair. Somebody can be 32 years old or 32 weeks pregnant. If that could be even so. <laughs> I don't know. I just heard that. No, you can't be 32 weeks pregnant. But anyways, mature man. There's about to be a change here. Somebody wants to stare at you eye to eye. They're nothing like the other guys. Despair, right back out. They want to know what's on your mind. Maybe you don't express how you feel. But somebody here is very um, knowledgeable about a lot of different topics and theories. Somebody reads a lot. Somebody can journal also a lot. Okay, wealthy man. So, somebody here could be a part of the 13 families. Not getting into that. Um, but somebody here could be going from the mature man to the wealthy man. Or somebody is a mature, wealthy man. Or there's two different male energies here. Maybe you and your best friend. Anybody can embody um, a male or female energy, no matter the gender. Oh, okay. Courthouse. Oh. Okay, I'm going to let you guys see. Concern, expectation, false person. So, there's a concern here, and there's a false person in your mix. Maybe you expected this. But something is going to lead to court or is already in court. High honor. Somebody here is of high honor. Or this could be somebody just in spiritual court and not physical court. Yep. Yeah. Because there's a thief here in your mix. Main female in reverse. And imprisonment in reverse. So somebody is releasing, feeling like they're imprisoned or being imprisoned physically. Um, somebody could feel trapped to a situation or a person, but somebody is about to let that um, go. Yep, lessons and blessings, wisdom. Somebody is gaining the insight they need to move forward in life. Clear, honest, and accurate messages too. <laughs> Lessons and blessings right back out. So, somebody is on the right side of some things. The right timing. Um, well, I guess that's so. The right timing. Something is the right time. Or... Something is very com time consuming or was. But someone is in a karmic relationship. Okay, it makes sense. Somebody has spent a lot of time in a karmic relationship. Somebody wants to get in those jeans. 
They want to know if there's any more room. Ooh. Okay. Speak, spirit. Father. Somebody's father play a significant role in their life. Orphan. Somebody could have watched their father be toxic and abusive to their mother. Vows, yeah. Their parents is married. Or if they're not married, they're common law married. Or this is you. You're vowing to be not like your father. But you resented this person to the point that you are like this person in some ways. More than not. Okay, because even... If it's not your father, it's a father figure. Rather, if it's a, a stepfather, an uncle that raised you, a grandpa, anything of that sort. Yeah, imprisonment or slavery. Somebody here... Thoughts was the problem um, in their love life. The way they grew up, the way they seen things done. Yeah. Wasn't right medicine man or medicine woman this person is going to heal or wanting to heal or learning to heal we're at the beginning stages of healing somebody wants to know And if this isn't a, a masculine energy, this feminine energy also saw her father in and out of her mother's life or her life, you know, so her views on men is also distorted. Somebody is very stubborn. Biblical. Somebody is researching, researching knowledge beyond the Bible. Oh. Okay, yep. Trees ship in Egypt. So somebody here, ancestors was hung from a tree. Some was thrown off a ship. And this even can be your energy in your past life. But yeah, your family definitely built the pyramids. They came from the pyramids. Somebody here is reclaiming their throne. Yep, trust and faith at the bottom of the deck. Eye of the needle, intentionality. So somebody here is very gifted. Um, somebody here could sew. Maybe somebody has had um, some new recent downloads to spark um, on a business venture or business idea. Maybe you sew clothes or you just, you know, make designs, things of that sort. Eyes of the e yeah, eyes of the eagle rising above the prey. So somebody is rising above the prey. Okay, you see how I was stuttering? Some of you some of you guys are going to be stuttering when some things come about into your life, especially when your manifestations start flowing. Somebody is fascinated by you. Somebody want to make your dreams come true. Lost compass getting back to integrity so somebody was lost uh, along their path but they're finding their way back jahoon find my way back to you listen to that song Ooh, okay let me go on and grab all of them they all went flying so something is definitely going to happen fast time is definitely flying root girl the disowned self so somebody disowned their self in this situation 
somebody was creating a lot of karmic cords to people and things. The farther gate, bold step forward. So somebody is taking a bold step forward because there's a gate opening for someone. Five, five here. So fives represents change. Um, deep, quiet, meditation, and stillness. Somebody is in meditation, 11 on the top of this. That's talking about partnerships and unions because it breaks down to a two. If you add it together. Okay. Benefactor, grace, and generosity. So there's going to be some grace and generosity extended to you. The wall obstacles. There's going to be obstacles in your path, but that does not mean to give up. It doesn't mean to, you know, throw in the towel. Somebody wants to do it all night long. Tell you how you like it. Tell them how you like it. Okay. Okay. The horseman, herald of change. There's going to be a herald of change here. Somebody's a Sagittarius with the horseman being here. Perfect storm. The courage to step into life. Somebody is having the courage to step into life. Deep river. I mean, deep diver. Diving into a task. Somebody is finally deciding to dive into a task. Falling angels. Spiritual. Narc. I don't even know that word. Narcopsy? Falling angel is here. So a lot of your spirit guides and your angels, your way showers, your spirit team, they're all aligning a certain situation to go in your favor. Oh my goodness, death at the bottom of the deck. And it reads, I am learning that endings are merely new beginnings. So there's going to be some new beginnings and endings in the next phase of your life. Oh, okay, that flew all the way over there. Perseverance. A lot of you are going to have to persevere through these times. And it reads, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to, okay? So, you can do whatever you set your mind to do. Blame at the bottom of the deck. Don't blame others. Always accept accountability for your own actions, okay? And it reads, I accept responsibility for my well-being, okay? And death, right back out. There's going to be some endings, and you're going to not have to be hard on yourself, but just accept accountability for what you have done. Acceptance. And it reads, I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. There's some things that you cannot change. Relationships at the bottom of the deck. And it reads, I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. So somebody here is attracted to people that serve their highest good. Somebody was not... um. Yep, judgment. Somebody was very judgmental. They didn't believe in diversity. And it reads, <laughs> okay, so every time somebody closed their eyes, they wake up feeling so horny. They can't get you out of their mind. Wow. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So somebody here understands now that everybody has their own path and challenges. Death in reverse. And it reads, I am learning that endings are merely new beginnings. This was in reverse. So somebody here was holding on to some things too tightly. Forgiveness is out next. Somebody was too forgiving. Somebody was over loyal, overly loyal. And it reads, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So somebody was harboring resentment and holding grudges. And that's why this situation could not move forward. Let's move on. They want to show how much they think about you, how much they love you, how much they miss you, how much they care about you. Somebody has been experiencing a lot of obstacles. Clear, honest, and accurate messages. Okay. Nine of Swords. Somebody here is having restless nights. Somebody can't sleep. Maybe somebody here is working, overworking. Ten of Swords. 
somebody here is feeling very back backstabbed and betrayed. Yeah. Somebody is going to be finding out some truth about something or someone. This is Spirit's hand. And this is Spirit's sword of truth. Spirit is about to uh -huh, bring down the tower. Somebody is definitely on a rocky foundation with someone. Somebody is a wish fulfillment to someone. Or this is you. You're feeling like somebody is a wish fulfillment to you. Or somebody feels like you're the wish fulfillment, like I said. Or this could be somebody doing, you know, too many shots tonight. Blurry, yeah. Somebody could have an accident. Please don't drink and drive. Yeah, five of cups. Somebody could be a cancer. Somebody could have an accident. I already said that. Somebody also could be doing blood rituals. The emperor. Somebody is a father. A damn good father at that. Some things are going to be illuminated. Um, about your son. Or about you when you were a kid. The magician. The infinity sign is over this person's head. So somebody is definitely getting a message from spirit. Or from their spirit, guys. Yeah. The Ten of Cups. Something is growing from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. This is the ultimate happiness and fulfillment in life. So I'm feeling like this is not a bad mag magician at the bottom of the deck. And you know, that kind of looks like an hourglass, even though it's not. This cup represents someone's feelings. This pinnacle represents someone's work. This sword, someone's truths. So somebody is using all of their God-given gifts to communicate with spirit or with someone telepathically. Hmm. The lovers. Somebody is in a sacred union. Somebody is going to have to make some ultimate decisions. Somebody is going to have to decide to close something out for good. Page of Swords. There's a lot of gossip and envy around someone. Yeah. Um, two of um, Wands and the Strength. Somebody is um, becoming confident and more alert and aware of their inner strength. You know, this little world in his hands. I got the whole world in my hands. I got the whole world. Yeah. Somebody realizes the whole world is in their hands. Dang, that flew all the way over there. Two of swords in reverse. Somebody here is not making a head over heart decision. They're very cognitive. Yep. Somebody is going towards stability. Somebody will be having a, celebra a, a celebration. Somebody could be graduating here. Somebody could be getting a new house. Seven of Wands. Somebody is very dis defensive now. Yeah, because they know what they bring to the table. They like, fuck uh, bringing to the table. I am the damn table. This is why they're holding back towards people. Somebody realizes that material things is not the entirety of life. Yeah, temperance. So things are definitely going to balance out in somebody's situation and love life. You see how that water is flowing? Somebody feels your touch, your kiss. <laughs> Somebody is highly, deeply attracted to you. Yeah. Hmm. 
you know, these are coming in twos. So, it's two here, two here, and two here. Nine, one, zero, zero, twenty-four. There's a lot of chemistry here. Passionate. Sacred energy. This is not bad energy. When this person comes together with their mate or their twin or their high-level soulmate and they make love, that energy is very powerful. It sends off a certain vibration and frequency to the world and the universe. It's like a ritual. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's too many cards. But somebody here definitely pours good energy into each other when they make love. This isn't like somebody constantly taking and taking and taking and sucking and sucking and sucking your energy dry. This is somebody here fills you up until your river flows all over him or her. Yeah. Nine, zero, 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 zero. Somebody wants you to call them. <laughs> That's what I got out of that. Or they want to call you. They want to turn you out. Mm -hmm. Justice. Somebody could be a Libra in here. Somebody could be a Capricorn, a Gemini, a Leo. Your body turns this person on. No matter, you know, how your curves is. Or how big you think you are. Somebody is very heartbroken. Queen of Wands. Somebody is very beautiful, stunning, self-sufficient, a go-getter. Somebody here don't wait for somebody to hand them nothing. They go get it themselves. Money may fluctuate, but this person is always afloat. Page of Swords. It's a lot of gossip towards this person. Yep. It's going to be some communication coming for someone. This doesn't even have to be from a lover. This could be from a family member. Somebody likes to come and tell you about your mate or someone else. Like, every time you talk to this person, this person is always negative and nagging and complaining. Somebody is getting tired of that type of energy. Yeah. Someone by, somebody wants victory and success. Somebody here watches someone's platform. Especially, it doesn't matter what you do. You could braid hair. You could, whatever you do, somebody watches you and they like the way you do it. You do it well. You could do hair. You could do lashes. You could do nails. Hell, you could even just sing. Yep, Queen of Swords. You live in your truth and you're very authentic. Yeah. Hmm, somebody want to rock your boat? <laughs> Hang on, let me. Oh, shoot. I almost caught my car carpet on fire. So it's going to be a fire in y'all bedroom tonight. Huh? Feels like this person is on boat when they're with you. Clear, honest, and accurate messages here. Mm. Okay. Mm, okay. Aww. Twin flame longing. And I'm going to read them both. This is a divine counterpart connection. So, somebody here could be in a karmic relationship with someone and they're longing for their twin flame.
Yeah, it's strictly sexual with this um, karmic person. And it reads, this connection is passionate but not enduring. So there's nothing but sex between you and another. But you feel a deep passionate connection with someone else. It feels very abundant. And it reads, you've done the work. Abundant flows to you now. So abundance is going to flow to you. You just have to go slow. Okay, and it reads, take time to get to know each other. So spirit is letting you know, yes, you may feel like you love each other. You might love this person. This person may be your twin flame, but you guys need to get to know each other better. Even if you feel like you've been dating for a long time, you don't truly know somebody until, you know, I ain't gonna say until you live with them, but, you know, until you know how they past was or their, their triggers are or, you know. Things of that sort. What's their favorite meal? What hand do they eat with? What hand do they write with? You know, what's their favorite color? Things of that sort. Okay. Mm hmm Denial. And it reads, Detach with love to see... No. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. So, you see how I stumbled across that? Somebody is going to take a leap of faith to detach clearly from the situation or you to get the truth out of the situation and it says it's safe to make a move make the move that you are considering so it is safe to make the move that you are considering collective or whoever is you know trying to do this towards you spirit is letting them know that it is safe to make the move that they are trying to make because this is true love and it reads, this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Somebody loves you or you love someone unconditionally. Boundaries. Out next, and it reads, firm boundaries are needed now. So you need to set he um, heavy boundaries with this person or with everyone around you in general because you are protected. And it reads, you are safe and divinely guided. So somebody is here is very divinely guided. Um, you're just doubting yourself or doubting spirit. You know, somebody is working on being stable or trying to work on their stability. But there's a lot of interferences here. And it reads, an external party is intruding on this relationship. So there's a lot of people and things intruding on this relationship chemistry at the bottom of the deck and it reads the attraction you feel is mutual so the feelings is mutual but you have a lot of obstacles in your way and it reads unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement so you or this person is harboring unhealed wounds and this is blocking forward movement with you guys new love is at the bottom of the deck and it reads a new love or recommitment to love is developing. So spirit is letting you know that something magnif magnificent is um, brewing. So be patient. Uh-oh. Come again. Uh-oh. As soon as I grab it, what I see? Cuffing season. They want to get them jaws. And then get it true. No disrespect, my own fast baby. The only difference is they look out for themselves. But I'm doing it just to hear you real good. Hey. They just want to hear you say that you love them. You may be mad at them.
Show you something that I make me wanna show you something. Have you so weak that you can't even say a thing? Hey, they trying to have you weak, they said. All you gotta do is say, maybe they name start with the O, but if it doesn't, they're trying to have you say their name. But you saw that the first card out was cuffing season, but you know, you know. Find a positive hobby to indulge in. Spirit wants you to find a positive hobby to indulge in. Okay? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Is an affirmation you can tell yourself. But no, literally, sticks and stones may break your bones, but something somebody tells you should not... I mean, it, it, it'll hurt, but it should not break you, okay? Spiritual lessons comes as a test of faith. Spirit wants you to know that. Somebody here has green eyes. Spirit wants you to balance your chakras. Somebody here has a side hustle or is looking into getting a side hustle. Okay, somebody is property of the most high. Aunt or uncle trying to connect from under the realm. So somebody here has an aunt or uncle trying to connect from another realm. Spirit wants you to give this a chance or your aunt or uncle wants you to give this a chance. Somebody here is a photographer. Low-key taking notes from you. Somebody is low-key taking notes from you. <laughs> somebody, you shouldn't trust something somebody is trying to bring towards you. Okay, canceled plans. Somebody is canceling some plans with you. Maybe this is um, divinely guided. Yeah, because somebody is severely manipulating you mentally. Okay, I love my uniqueness because it makes me authentic. So, somebody here is very authentic and it makes them very unique. And a lot of people like this about this person. 32, 33, oh, oh no, 32, 23, excuse me. Spirituality is not for the weak or the faint-hearted. So, Spirit wants you to know that you can't be weak-hearted on the spiritual journey. Massage therapy. Somebody is um, looking that up. Uh, maybe they want to go and get a massage, or maybe somebody wants to do this as a um, a side hustle. Oh, there's some wicked foster parents in the mix. Oh, okay, limits beyond the veil. There's some limits beyond the veil about some wicked foster parents. Sleeping with, okay, sleeping my life away. So somebody is sleeping their life away. Somebody is very vengeful in your life, but be careful with that energy because somebody could snap. Oh, somebody is getting to know oneself. The passion between us is what brought us closer. So the passion between you and somebody else is what brought you guys closer. Oh, okay. Mutual friend of a mutual friend. So somebody is a mutual friend of a mutual friend, or this is how you guys met. Masculine's dad don't like Divine Feminine. So somebody's dad doesn't like you, Divine Feminine. Oh, okay. Forged signature. Out next, somebody forged someone's signature. Someone here wears glasses. Killing me softly. So something is killing someone softly. Oh, obsess well, I'm not going to say all, oh, but, you know, obsessively infatuated with you. So, somebody here is obsessively infatuated with you. This could be the dad. This could be your, your partner's lover, like baby mom, ex, anything of that sort. Somebody used to be your cheerleader or is a cheerleader now. This could be a daughter or this, you know, anything of that sort. Somebody is going to be in a rush or is was in a rush to do something but don't be in a rush to drive because you could be in an accident but you know road rage energy being in a road rage energy okay somebody is making silent moves i choose to stay in distorted energy somebody is choosing to stay in distorted energy <laughs> 
Okay, somebody spank me. Somebody wants you to spank them or they want to spank you. Fake flossing. Somebody is doing a lot of fake flossing. Some, something is going to be expired. Maybe somebody's tax is expired or somebody's time is expired. Okay, somebody is a coach or had an experience with a coach when they were a child. Maybe this coach was very sexual. Secret spy. Somebody is a secret spy. Paying for something and disputing it later. So somebody is planning to, paying, uh, planning to pay you for something and dispute it later. Okay, your spouse was a child. Your spouse was your child in your past life. <laughs> that explains why a lot of people have a lot of karmic cycles with people. Okay, if you are not with me, I'm going to make it hard for you to be with anyone else. So somebody here wants you to know they're going to make it hard for you to be with anyone else if you're not with them. Somebody here has been experiencing two periods in one month. Okay, maybe you could be going through menopause or maybe somebody um, is needing to go to the doctor. Somebody needs to drop the zero and get with the hero. Yeah, that's what it said. Somebody, oh, okay. Adaptive and world life changes. So there's going to be some world life changes that we're going to have to adapt to. Okay. Oh, it's bent all out of shape. But it says judge or cop being convicted. So somebody is going to be convicted. Okay, something has to do with someone's aunt. Or, yeah, somebody's aunt was trying to connect with them. Okay, somebody is going to be in the how, how dare you energy. But somebody is a decoy in a situation. Let's get some names. I'm not going to do a lot of them. Fleet, Kamisha, Unique, Jade, Mikhail, Hawthorne, Edith, Keisha, Linda, Wright, Mariah, Lynn, Maya, Gilmore, Brendan, Rico, Tyrone, Marissa, Asia, Sykes, Willow, Emily, Xavier, Zane, Williams, Alicia, Farley, Carter, Clinton, Zaire, Denise, Nolan, Bentley, Kim, Trish, Devin, Marie, Paul, Grant, Tiberius, Nini, Ivy, Wells, Ward. <laughs> Somebody wants to know how did you get here? 
Chanel, Castro, Ray, Lester. They tried this love thing for the last time, Jerome. Their heart said no, no. Henson, Elvis, and Sloter. This is the end of the message. Thank you.